Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thanks for coming. Well, today, I'm gonna do an unboxing. Uh, yeah, Fluval Breeder Box 1.9 litre. Um, cost me $43 on eBay. A little bit more than I want to pay, but um, 1.9 one was only $12 dearer than the smaller one. So anyway, I've got it. It arrived a couple of days ago. Been sitting, cats, kittens chewed a bit of it, but I do have one here that I'm gonna when I make automatic feeder. Anyway, that's why I got this. So I've got one here, an old one, whatever. So we'll just open it up and have a look at it, see what it's like. I suppose most of you probably know what they're like, but I only have two tanks that it can fit on. So there is an opportunity there for some someone to create hang on the side breeder boxes with bigger gaps. Because in Australia most tanks have lips around them. But anyway, we will um, open it up, see what it's like. I'm hoping it's going to be good. There's some packaging. Here we go. Uh, multi chamber holding breeding box. Yeah. This one here, I only ever really use. I don't think it's good for guppies, platies, whatever. Not fair on the fish. Never use it for that. So. I only use it for uh, crystal nose, catfish eggs, whatever. So here we go. Got the lid. And the container. A few instructions, but you probably won't read those as normal. And your pieces here. The main thing I do want to find out is with the lift tube where you connect, I'm hoping when I make the automatic feeder that that thing is going to fit on 12 and a half internal hose or whatever I've got. So there we go. I do like this better because it only has the one, well, I'm assuming I'm going to like it better, it only has the one flow. A little cut here for our overflow, I suppose, if it gets too high. But this one has all the way across. So anyway, I decided to get this. So it does have baffles or dividers, so you can do them three. But I'm not going to worry about that. If I do find down the track that flow is too great, you could always put a bit of sponge filter in or something. Um, you know, like you're doing a sump system or something to bring the flow down a bit, but we will see. And here's our little package of uh, bits and pieces. We will see. Anyway, you always like to do something new, so that one's probably 15 years old, so I will see how we go. Oh God, it's got a lot of bits. Okay, so I'm assuming these are your dividers that you can put in wherever, do they fit? Okay. Anyway, I probably should have brought me glasses. Um, So you've got to go to the top, but yeah. anyway, we've got dividers, but I'm not going to worry about that. That's why I've got this one because it's 1.9 list. A little bit of tubing, uh, valve to control the flow on the tubing, that's good. I like that. This section, which is obviously uh, it has a slot in here, which is good for this bit in here. 
so that just slots in like such. Okay. This bit on here, so this is a rubber O-ring, whatever, so you can probably yeah, control whatever length you good. That's good, so because when I cut the, the the hose to put on here, I will just cut that. Rather than refine the hose, I will be able to adjust that on the O-ring. So that's good. I don't know what all these bits are. Maybe I'm going to have to read the instruction. Or maybe this goes on here. Because you've got the hole on the bottom. Okay, it's sealed at the end. So, I don't know if you can see that. But, I'll take this bit off. <coughs> so, this is sealed on the end. A lot of them, well this one, has the hole on the bottom. But also an out end. So, this is probably better designed for splash won't get as much splash and it will only come out underneath not underneath and at the end okay there's your uh, adapter thing on there where you connect your tube up but I probably won't use that but I've got it anyway and you know you know how all these things work like such so you got your flow, run that up. Now, I'm trying to work out what these are. I don't know. We have two gates for your thing. One a thicker or broader hole, bigger hole and smaller hole. I'll probably use the smaller one, assuming I'm assuming that slots in there. Okay, just slots in there. If you're finding eggs come out, you can always cut a bit of sponge filled or put it in there. I don't know what these are for. And two little white plastic bits that I don't know either. Anyway, and two of these ones here are uh, maybe, okay, no, there's nothing to connect there. That's going to go like that, so, yeah, okay, I don't know. Maybe they, okay, all right, I'm thinking these ones here go in these slots here, so yeah, okay, like that, you can see, I don't know if you can see there, but they might come down for the, the rimless thing, we'll just see if that's Yeah, okay, so to hold it, I need to go on the other way, isn't it? So, that way. Okay, so I'll hold it, and if I don't all right, take those out, if you've got a broader, okay. Yeah, otherwise it's gonna go at an angle. Alright, now, let's just, okay, and they got these two round ones, I'm assuming they go, uh, I hope you can still see me, I hope that they go like that, I'm assuming, so, Okay, so, yep, yeah, okay. So you've got these ones to adjust it here if you if you want a, a, a broader thing, but if you've only got a narrow one, 
you can use them in there. That's pretty good. That gives you a fair bit of a adjustment. This one fell out when I maneuvered it. I don't like that too much, but anyway, we'll um, put it back in when I can see. Oh, me. Should have brought me glasses. Anyway. Okay, goes like that. So, for the time being, I'm just going to run it like that. So that's pretty good. I've got that one and this one will still fit in if I want. So, okay. We'll just check the level. That looks pretty level to me. Baffles. So there you go. Um, probably a little bit expensive everything's gone up so pretty happy with that I've got the lid lid's gonna go like such okay I'll put this I do that's okay I like the ending on that to so stop the splash I like the adjustment on here. The lid's gonna fit. Well, hopefully. Yep. The lid fits pretty slut, uh, snug. So that's good. 1.9 litre, whatever. And um, yeah, got those. So I'm just gonna use those. You do have smaller ones if you had a. Uh, slim light you know so a good adjustment on it so there you go I'm pretty happy about that so I'm gonna stuff around today and get it set up and finish off the automatic uh, so-called egg catcher but I, I just give it a go so that's pretty good look after it probably last 20 years and um, Thank you very much. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing or ask a question. Leave a comment if you used them before. If you know, I mean, pretty standard, whatever. So, there you go. Thank you. Okay. And um, the hose I'm going to use fits on there. So, that's really good. I can move ahead with my project. And, um, yeah, fit it on without even heating. So, when I heat the hose bit of hot water and work good. I did notice when I pulled this off to put this on the o-ring came off so just be aware that the o-ring isn't probably as good as it could be but once I get it back on um, see when you adjust it the o-ring moves a bit but um, anyway that's a small thing but just be aware of that but once you've got once I've got it set up and at the height I want for the catchment of the eggs and then I would just drill cut a hole in here and I will put the airline in there to create the lid so okay that's the only thing that's slightly disappointed me but it isn't a big issue so I'm gonna move on with the next part of the project thank you